I just wondered how you first became aware of the New York article that the film is based on and why you wanted to bring these women's stories um, to the big screen. Uh, I was sent the article in the summer of 2016 by uh, Gloria Sanchez, the producers of the film, and, uh, and then I had to go in and pitch them my ideas of how I would adapt the article to the screen. Um, as soon as I read it, I felt like I have to tell this story. There was something so familiar about it, and yet something that I felt like I hadn't really seen from at least the dancers' perspectives. You know, we've seen a lot of movies with scenes in the strip club, <laughs> uh, but, but so few have been made from their perspective. So it felt like a, a story worth telling and so many themes that it touched upon that I, I felt like I really wanted to explore. And uh, Jennifer Lopez, obviously um, part of your um, incredible cast, what impressed you about um, the way that she approached the physical aspect of the role? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I mean, she's so impressive already, so she just dove headfirst into this role. She uh, trained like crazy on the pole. She, she took a pole with her every city that she went to, and, you know, she dances every day. She's obviously in incredible shape, but she said that it, you know, gave, showed her muscles that she didn't know she had. She had bruises in places she didn't know, and so, um, yeah, she really just she threw herself into the role physically and, and mentally, and, and uh, yeah, I... I I can't believe it's her, honestly. I can't imagine anybody else besides her as Ramona. Because aside from the physical aspect, it's a quite a layered, complex um, mm -hmm. character as well, isn't yeah. it? Can you talk a bit about her uh, approach to that and watching her do that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we're so used to seeing Jennifer in romantic comedies and lighter fare, and uh, it was really exciting to see her play something kind of dangerous. Um, uh, but she's one of those actors who just has all of those qualities that actually make up a complex character. You know, she is warm and she is cool. You know, she is maternal and she is sexy. And so um, it was just really exciting to see her, you know, put her, be in someone else's shoes in this way. And um, I, I, I don't know, she, she disappeared into the role, even though it's something that like fits like a glove, you know, it feels like a glove that she maybe hasn't put on before, so. And Cardi B in the cast as well, brilliant in the film. Um, she has experience of working in strip clubs herself in real life. Um, why did you want her on board and what kind of insight did she give you into th that world as well? Oh gosh, I mean I, I wanted Cardi in this movie before I think I had the directing job. So, so um, I just think she's an incredible talent obviously. She's an incredible personality obviously a superstar, but uh, I just thought she could bring so much authenticity to the role, into the world, and and um, and she really is an actor. I mean, she really, you know, to her credit, she really did work off of a script. I mean, of course, I kept it open, and I love hearing them improv, and they have such great chemistry together, all of them together, Jennifer and Constance and, and Cardi, and so it was fun to keep it open and, and, and leave room for that. But she also played a character, and she also really did stick to a script, too. And so it's very impressive that all these different actors, dancers, some real strippers, like different people from different walks of life all kind of coexisting in this movie together was, was a beautiful thing to see. And some of the cast, uh, like Cardi um, and Lizzo, probably aside from their music videos, haven't had as much um, acting mm. experience as some of the rest of the cast. What gave you confidence that they'd be able to do what you needed them to do in the movie? I mean, musicians, singers, dancers, they just have a natural rhythm. They know timing, you know, and so obviously people like Lizzo and Cardi have such incredible personalities that, you know, we are very familiar with, but Kiki and Jennifer obviously also, I mean, it just, I think dancers and performers and singers and musicians in general just have that natural timing and rhythm to them, but they also have just, I mean, off the charts personalities and, and, and Lizzo brought so much energy to the role and so much confidence and, and it was really wonderful to watch them play off of each other. And you've got a musical um, background yourself, singer-songwriter, mm. and I love the uh, music choices, the eclectic mix. Can you talk us through some of those? We've got Chopin, mm. Frankie Valli, Janet Jackson, Britney, great yeah. track in there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, uh, a lot of those cues were written into the script. The Chopin cues were all written into the script. Uh, Britney was written into the script. So um, a lot of that was about capturing this time period, you know, obviously 2007, 2008. Um, the music that was popular then, but I also wanted to fill out the world and Chopin for me was something that was a great way to see the grace and elegance and strength that's involved in, in these moves and these dances and, and so Chopin kind of became the, the sound of the movie, the sound of the relationship between Ramona and Destiny, the kind of romance between them 
And um, the, the particular pieces are the, uh, the studies, so the etudes where they're kind of the hardest pieces to play um, as solo piano. So um, that was why I was so drawn to them. I felt like there was a relationship between those pieces and seeing these women on the pole, really um, the athleticism involved in it is, is you know, is very familiar to that to how the athleticism involved in, in playing those pieces. And the film offers a really fresh perspective on the um, 2008 financial crash as well. Um, why were you interested in showing that from the perspective of these women? Well, I guess you don't often think about their industry. I mean, I, I think a lot of people don't think about their industry um, that often. And so I, I think it was easy to forget. I mean, obviously, the financial crisis affected everybody and everybody's industries. but. For those women, especially in New York and Wall Street's backyard, their industry really did change. But it changed everywhere. You know, money changed, twenty dollars changed. You know, what someone expected for twenty dollars, what someone's willing to do for twenty dollars, that changed, and so that had a large impact on their industry. And a lot of the research that I did, and women that I talked to, some of them quit dancing at that time, became house moms or managers, and others found new ways to, to make a living, and certainly nowadays with technology being what it is, it, the club's a little bit of a different kind of place, so uh, things have changed, certainly. And I wondered, I, th I think you mentioned somewhere that you know, the film is quite a sort of hard sell in some ways to get the money together, um, with it being about these female anti-heroes. Mm -hmm. um, could you talk a little bit about that aspect? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think it's a hard, it was a, a hard movie to get made only because I think there's a stigma around uh, strippers and, uh, and, and maybe even female characters in general are expected to be virtuous or something, you know? I mean, it, it's a certain pressure on us in daily life that I think it somehow extends into the into the film, you know, are they good enough moms? <laughs> and um, so I, I think the questions that you might ask of male, uh, female characters, you might not ask of male characters. Um, but yeah, I, I, I felt that there was a responsibility to, to telling the story of these, of these dancers and what it's like for them on a daily basis. You know, it is a job like, like anything else. So. And Will Farrell is a producer as well. Could you talk mm. a little bit about his involvement, his input? Well, yeah. Will and Adam were great. I mean, uh, they they both uh, read the script and and gave notes on the script and and watched cuts of the movie as well and everything. Um, but uh, it was mostly produced by women. <laughs> there were yeah. Jessica Elbaum and Elaine Goldsmith Thomas and Alex Brown. They were on set every day. So, thanks very much. Thank you, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!